Ma'am, started the recording. Okay, thank you, girl. God bless you. So, thank good you, morning, class. Now we will be doing the question answers of the lesson. The early society. Okay, so here we are. First, let us do the exercises. The first one, fill in the blank. Are the Myra caves are found in Spain? Number two, the Paleolithic man used to dash his dead and right there, bury, oblique worship also. Okay, bury, B U R R Y. Number three, the Paleolithic man first learned to make tools. Number four, the Paleolithic man was first a food gatherer. Number five, the tools of the Mesolithic age were called microliths. Spelling of microliths, M-I-C-R-O-L-I-T-H-S, microliths. Now match number two exercise, match the following columns. Number one, scraper, match it with cleaning or scraping, 1D. Number two, chopper, match it with chopping meat, 2F. Number three, paleolithic remains, mark it with stone valley, 3E. Number four, the early cave drawing, mark it Green Betka Caves, 4A. <clears throat> Number five, Budge, a deep hole, uh, sorry, deep holes in the earth, 5B. Number six, Microliths, mark it with small stone artifact, 6C. So your answer will be 4A, 5B, 6C, 7, sorry, 1D, 3E. And two F. Next, number three, true and false statements. During the Paleolithic age, man used fine tools made of metals. Right there, false. Underline fine. Right there, crude. C R U D E crude plus heavy. H E A V Y heavy. Crude plus heavy. Underline fine and write this. Then come on to metals, underline it, right here, stones. So your new answer will be, during the Paleolithic age, man used crude and heavy tools made of stones. Number two, humans were food gatherers during the Mesolithic age. True. Number three, the Paleolithic age man began to live in mud houses. Underline uh, right there false, underline mud, and right there caves plus huts. Caves, C A V E S plus huts. Number four, Paleolithic is a Greek word. True. Come to the fourth exercise, put a tick mark on the correct answer. The Stone Age has been divided into four periods. 1D. Number two, Paleolithic man was similar to his ancestors, the apes, to A. Number three, the Paleolithic man moved from place to place in search of food, 3A. Number four, an instrument used to kill running animals is arrowhead, 4C. Number three, the word meso means middle, 5B. Now, these four exercises, one, two, three, four, you'll do in the book only. Now, coming to the fifth one, name the different periods of the Stone Age in their proper chronological order. Answer, the different periods of the Stone Age in their proper chronological order are, number one, the Paleolithic Age. 5 lakh BC to 10,000 BC. Number two, Mesolithic age, 10,000 BC to 8,000 BC. 
the Neolithic age, 8000 BC to 4000 BC. The Calcolithic age, 4000 BC to 2000 BC. Question number two. What was man's first major discovery? What were the main uses? Page 16. Page 16. Okay. Page 16. The discovery of fire was a major achievement for the man of Paleolithic age. That's it. Five two. Coming on to five three. How did the Paleolithic man discover fire? Sorry, sorry. What was the first major discovery? Then the second part is what were its main uses? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, please tell, uh, answer to again. I'm telling that only. First part we have done. First part of the answer is the discovery of fire was a major achievement for the man of Paleolithic age. This is first part. Then what were the major uses? Answer is number one, to frighten wild animals, they kept fire burning at the mouth of the caves or hut at night and slept with comfort. Number two, it was used to keep them warm in winter. Number three, fire was used to cook and roast the flesh of animals. So the first two lines and then these three jotters. Okay, first two lines till age. And then three jotters is your answer, 5-2. Is this clear? Now coming to 5-3. The question is, how did the Paleolithic man discover fire? Answer, it is believed that Paleolithic man must have rubbed two stones and the spark produced lit a few dry leaves lying nearby. Once they had discovered how to make fire, slowly they began to use it for. Mark till here. This is your 5 3. For. After for. Write this. For. Keeping away. It is keeping ing, keeping away the wild animals, comma, cooking food, comma, for warmth and light. Now, on page 16, you have marked till for after that, for keeping away the wild animals comma cooking food comma for warm and light question number five five why is the paleolithic sorry question number five four why do we call the paleolithic man a food gatherer page 15 paleolithic man did not know how to grow food. He therefore had to move from one place to another in search of food. After that, you will write, that is why, that is why the Paleolithic man was called a food gatherer. That is why the Paleolithic man was called a food gatherer. Question number five, five. Why is the Paleolithic man called a nomad? Page 14.
paleolithic man was a nomad who wandered from place to place hunting and gathering food mark coming on to 5 6 what were the religious beliefs of the paleolithic man page 17 and his religious beliefs the paleolithic man developed certain religious beliefs number 1 he worshiped his ancestors after their death only till here number 2 he believed in magical powers number 3 he buried the dead along with his tools and eatables thinking that he might need them in the in his journey to the next world Number four, the Paleolithic man was afraid of lightning and thunder. After that, he thought thunder ke baad he thought that they were perhaps the expressions of some divine anger. This is your five six answer. Now coming on to six one. Describe the life of Paleolithic man, page fourteen. Okay, your answer is from here, from here till here. Let me read it quickly. Paleolithic man was a nomad who wandered from place to place, hunting and gathering food. He lived in caves and rock shelters. He covered himself with co- coarse animal skin and leaves. he ate mainly wild berries nuts roots meat of animals that he hunted and even insects for hunting and protection from ferocious animals he had to move in groups such groups were never very large this is your 61 coming to 62 write a brief note on the art and painting of paleolithic man page 16 art and paleo uh, art of the paleolithic man start from here paleolithic man lived in caves or huts in the early stages of his development he started drawing rough figures on walls and ceilings of the caves there are depictions of running wild bison bears horses stags and herds of other animals in beautiful designs mark till here then leave two three lines paleolithic man was a great artist he even made ornaments from ivory bones and beautiful stones after that you write example painting and bheem bhetka caves in madhya pradesh this is your 62 coming to 63 what do you know about the mesolithic age page 17 from here till here is your answer I will read out. At the end of Paleolithic age, man moved closer to water sources like rivers and lakes. He entered the period of Mesolithic age or Middle Stone Age. This age was a transition period for Paleolithic man. Mostly, the features of the Old Stone Age continued, but there were some new developments. These developments were as under domestication of animals, number one, number two, improvement in tools. Number three, art of painting. Number four, burial system. This is your six three. Coming to six four. How were microliths useful to Mesolithic man? Page seventeen. Answer: My Mesolithic man was still a hunter and food gatherer, but now the tools were better and refined. shapely and more efficient than the tools of the old stone age 
these tools were smaller in size and they were called microliths after that the two three lines apart from stone animal bones and horns were also used for making tools that's it with this we come to an end of the question answers 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 6 1 2 3 4 we will do in the copy i hope i am clear yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma'am ma ma can i stop the recording it stop the yes, recording please now ma'am one minute okay thank you